Hello everyone. So packages are finally, finally starting to arrive. I'd mentioned this on my social media that Canada Post since the holidays has been ridiculous. Um, I don't know what's been going on, but like Simon says Stampa has been shipping out my orders just as usual. And then the minute things are hitting the border, tracking's not working. And I do know normally you can copy and paste the tracking number Simon gives you and copy and paste it into Canada Post and it'll keep tracking. And it was working again up until about the holidays and then now it just doesn't work. And things are taking forever. Some of these items I had ordered like back in like December or something like that. Like it just, it's crazy. So I'm gonna have several little haul videos coming showing all of the different things that like I said are finally showing up. So I finally got my hands on, this is not what I expected it to be, this is so weird. This is the Beadsmith Magical Tray. A simple shake is all it takes to flip stones right side up. Flips flat back stones just like magic. Also great for scooping, pouring, sorting beads and finding, compact and portable. It is compact and portable, I just didn't expect it to look that, so weird. Anyway, so I got that and then I got the uh, little things from Lucy's Cards Chunky Rainbow Sparkle Mix. I have the regular Rainbow Sparkle Mix, and then they've released these ones. Mm. I guess it does work. It has to do with the slanted sides, I bet. Yeah, you see, you don't like shake it like I was shaking, you just kind of, yeah, interesting. Okay, so all those ones, of course, they always end up upside down. Hmm. It does work. Who'd have thunk? Not as big of a pain with these larger ones. Where's my container? Here it is. Here's my container. Smaller ones. It's always these, like, these ones that it can be a pain in the butt. So let's dump a few in there. It works. Who'd have thunk, huh? You know, there's a few that aren't, but the majority of them are flipped right side up. That's really cool. That's gonna make life so much easier. Huh, okay, I give this a thumbs up. This is, I'm glad. I'm very glad I got this. <laughs> Because, yeah, ones like this, like, digging through, this will make it so much easier. They kind of, like, end up almost static clinging to this. That's weird. I don't know. It's neat, though. But, yeah, if you're like me and you've struggled getting these, playing with these jewels and getting them flipped over and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, this magical little tray is very cool. I'm kind of just, like... Okay, <laughs> so I got that, and I also got that, and these are probably sold out already, the Razzle Dazzle um, sequin mix. There's like hearts in here and all different colors. Of course, it was the colors. I was like, oh, these look rainbow. There's everything in here. There are sequins and jewels and beads and flower sequins. Like, it's just a mishmash of everything, but they just work pretty. So I got that. And then I did get a bottle of lots of people asking me about this. What, you know, am I going to switch over to the collage medium mat now that um, Jennifer McGuire has? <laughs> um, I'm going to try it. I don't know. I'm, I've always been happy with my multimedia mat. You know, I've been using this and I really like it. I really like my Nouveau. I've been using the Simon Says Craft Haku. This is really cheap. This is like $2 for um, a bottle of this. I've been using this a bit lately since I got it to like adhere rhinestones and sequins and things. I really like it. So I, those are all great options. Like I'm happy with them. So I got this just to try it out and see like, is this gonna be the holy grail of um, all things adhesive? It's got kind of the similar, not quite fine tip. So this does have such a large one that that's what she did, I know, is put it in a um, separate 
container and of course all of mine have grown legs grown legs and walked off because that's just what they do but yeah I'm kind of on the fence we will see if I can even find my little containers I had some I don't know where they went but yeah the um, Doris got stuff falling everywhere the Doris containers that come with these tips because these bottles come with Side. The multimedia mat and whatnot come like this. Just a regular um, plastic tip with the regular, you know, nozzle. And then if you purchase the Doris pack, it comes with four empty bottles and these tips with the metal and the pin inside. And that's what a lot of us have been doing to be able to give us that really fine, fine tip on our multimedia matte bottles so what she did was she got this and she's been just putting this inside the empty bottle with the fine tip so because this won't fit this is way too big see that's why you can't just like unscrew that and stick it on there so yeah I'm gonna try it out I'm, I'm curious to see this is apparently a slightly thinner consistency than the multimedia matte but I don't yeah I really like my multimedia matte so I got it to try, we'll see what I think. So I got that. And then I finally got my hands on. This is the Simon Says Stamp Foodie Friends stamp set. They had released a limited edition Valentine kit, which had sold out and then they had, they were able to get some more made up. I'm not sure as of doing this video if there are any left. If there are, I will link to it. It's an adorable kit. It's one of those like big kits with extra stuff in it. So they made that kit and they had this adorable stamp set that I just, ah! So super, super adorable. This coordinates with the Doodlebug So Punny collection, which I do have on its way here. And that's one of the packages that's just, Canada Post is sitting on it somewhere, somewhere. So hopefully it's gonna show up this week and then I'll do a, you know, I'll show you guys everything. But yeah, I love you from my head, tomatoes. <laughs> You've stolen a pizza, my heart. Um, you soda make my heart pop. Um, you're so delightful. All of you. Hello. I love you two pizzas. Hey, hot stuff. You're not, um, you're not typical and I love you that way. Seriously. I'm not the cute. There is a coordinating die set. Same thing. Die, like everything's being held up by Canada Bowls. Um, there is a coordinating die set to this. I will link to that as well. So I'm waiting for that to show up. I can't wait. I want to play with this so bad. So there's that, and then I actually, uh, this is an old release, um, but I've wanted it for a long time and I never had it. So this is the Simon Says Big U Words, and then I got the coordinating um, Big U Wafer Die set. So just nice, large, I really like the size of this U. So good to do like, um, you could use it as a window to create a shaker card, same with this one, or they're just so great, and then do like a narrow sentiment, etc. Like just die cut and stack it. Love. So there's that. And then obviously this great, great sentiment that's so good to take like kind of center stage on your cards. So big birthday wishes to you. Always you. Thinking of you. Um, you always know what to say. Love you. Thank you. So happy for you. You are fantastic. You are so important to me. And I like those, you know, different styles, depending on what you want to make. I've got that one. And I'll get to the coffee stuff in a minute. Um, I, of course, I need to use this right away. It's Valentine themed, but it can be for anything. The Neat and Tangled Qualifications <laughs> stamp. Oh, God, I love it. Qualified to be my Valentine. Free hugs given daily to a quality friend. So, obviously, you can use it for Valentine's, which I'm hoping I can. And then like any time throughout the year really. And there's a coordinating little die, that'll die cut this little guy as well as that heart. I just think that's so cute. And then of course I had to get this one. People were messaging me, asking me if I was gonna get this cause you know, I'm Canadian. <laughs> this is the Beaver's A. Uh, love it. Beaver's A, love from Neat and Tangled. Miss you, you're a good friend. I love you, damn. <laughs> damn, I love you, damn, you're a good friend. <laughs> Isn't that just like the cute, oh, they make some of the cutest little characters ever. And there's coordinating dies for all of these images. 
That's just, I love it. Love it. Look at that. The last but certainly not least, um, Simon had got in these casual Fridays, um, the colors fried eyes, cute, um, stamps. And these are all coffee themed, like a whole coffee collection of amazingness. So we've got a couple of um, dyes, do they say the names? To-go cup and coffee cup. So if you're basic to-go cup shape and then like the, the wrap and the lid. So you have that one. And then this one has a cute more mug that obviously you could do like tea themed as well. And then you have the coffee word die and then a little coffee cup. I like that, that's cute. Really cute and a little like heart shaped handle. So then we have, so we have that one. And then you get into the stamps and this one is just cup of coffee. So the big cup with the heart shaped handle, separate pieces that you can stamp for, you know, the liquid inside because uh, everything is okay now. And these are all sized to fit like on the mug, possibly vodka. <laughs> if you can read this, you are too close to my coffee. Back away slowly and nobody gets hurt. And download in progress, caffeine loading, please wait. Shh. Do you value your life? Now you may speak, you know, coffee levels. Really cute. Really cute. So there's that one. And then we have this one, which is Coffee Talk. So today's good mood, sponsored by coffee. I love you more than coffee. Please don't make me prove it. A yawn is a silent scream for coffee. Um, a hug in a mug. I just want to drink and <laughs> drink coffee. <laughs> oh, you could just leave that off. I just want to drink and make pretty things. Um, coffee puts the zippity in my doodah day. <laughs> coffee because crack is bad for you. Uh, coffee because adulting is hard. Coffee helps me maintain my never killed anyone status. Uh, coffee, nature solution for the morning impaired. That's a weird, uh, coffee, that's a weird way to say mimosa. Coffee, enough said. Yeah, y'all know the know me know why I got this. So we got that one and then there is this one which is time for coffee. So we've got the clock and it literally says like coffee, 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 all the way around. Um, my morning poem, coffee, 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 everyone shut up, coffee. Scoop, brew, pour, sip, smile, ah, repeat. It's never too late for coffee. Oh my, and a little arrow so you can like point at that. It's coffee o'clock, any time is a good time. My coffee haiku, yes, 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 yes. My decaf haiku, ew, 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 ew. <laughs> Uh, roses are red, mornings are hard, I suck at poetry coffee. <laughs> and then last, but certainly not least, is hot coffee. I don't have enough coffee or middle fingers for today. Life is a grind, press on. Hashtag coffee. Better, better latte than never. I drink coffee for your protection. Sit down, shut up, drink your coffee, everything will be okay. <laughs> Grab today by the beans. Either I drink my coffee or I say bad words to strangers. I like big cups and I cannot lie. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if these are even in stock. They sold out extremely quickly. I jumped on these immediately because coffee themed stuff is very popular with us crafters for some reason. Um, you can always sign up on the Simon site when it's, when you look at an item and it says sold out, right below it, it'll say email me. Um, you can sign up for an email to get a notification when it comes in stock. Um, I've had people ask me about that. I've never had a problem with that. I always get an email when an item comes in stock. Sometimes it'll tell me if there's a limited amount of it, I'll get an email and it's like, we only have two in stock. Ah. So I have to jump on it. Um, other times if it's like really in demand items, um, the notifications still work, but there, I, this is my opinion. I'm not sure exactly what, but it's like a queue and it's like so many people that not everyone's getting notifications because it's selling out before, like the minute it goes in stock, the first, however many people are notified, and it sells out before they can even, you know, the system can even like notify everyone else. That's kind of how I think it's working. So that's just my opinion anyway. But so far it works for me. I get, well, that's why I end up placing so many random orders. Cause I'll get an email in the middle of the night saying like such and such is back in stock. I'm like, Ooh, I need to order. <laughs> so that said, I will have links to everything in the description box below the video as well as on my blog. On my blog it's picture links um, to make things easier and yeah I will get hopefully some time to experiment with this and see what I think about this holy grail of adhesive but like I said um, if I remember I will try to link to these ones as well because I really do like this craft hacky glue 
And I've been using this one for a long time. It's like literally I'm like wearing off the bottle. I've only used up like a quarter of this bottle though. Not bad considering how much I've used this. The Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. So really like that. Really like this one. And my multimedia mat. These are like my three... I was like, these are my three go-to liquid adhesives. So, yeah. I use the multimedia mat for little things. Basically, I only use it for small stuff just because it's a small bottle. So, like, rhinestones and sequins and whatnot. Like, this is awesome. And it dries completely matte. Love it. This one, I haven't been using as long. I like it. It dries mostly matte. Not as matte as this one. But mostly matte. And the price is amazing. I keep mine because it has this awesome flat lid. I keep mine stored like this so it's always like upside down so I don't have to squeeze it as much to get it out and yeah this is just a tack, super tacky PVA craft glue I like this one too for more just small pieces I don't really like it for larger layers and things like that because it's a PVA glue I find it, it can make the paper curl more because it's more I don't know just the nature of it but I'm liking it for embellishments and whatnot like it really really holds so, and I like that it's kind of tacky to like get something on, but then it dries um, firm and matte. It does not, it's not a duo glue where it'll like dry and stay tacky. This one dries because people were asking me that. No, it dries and then it's done. Like it won't stay tacky. So if anything oozes out past the, you know, your rhinestone or whatever, it's not going to have that little, I hate that. I don't like, no, no. So, and same with this one. All three of these dry down and they're just dry. They're not tacky afterwards once they're dry they're dry so this one's been great too and same I use this one more for like layers and things but it does also work really well to adhere embellishments and whatnot um this one does fit I have a separate bottle this one does fit the fine tip applicator so I do have a second bottle that I keep just the fine tip applicator on to use if I do want to adhere little detailed rhinestones do to do so sorry this video is getting really long because I'm just doing like an impromptu adhesive video anyway <laughs> I guess this is a bonus for the people that actually watch my entire video so hi <laughs> so yeah that's my thoughts as of right now these are like my kind of three go-to liquid glues and for everyone has different preferences so it's nice having options so we'll see what I think about this one and then we'll go from there I kind of assume it'll just kind of be absorbed into my collection of glues because I just I like reaching for different things it just depends on my mood more than anything um, and I like showing options to everyone like you know because different things work great so that's just what I do so that is it from me for now thank you all so much for watching and I will be back very soon with another video bye